Hello, Shining Time Station, Manager Stacy Jones speaking. Oh yes, the 215 from Pelican Falls to Shining Time is right on schedule. You're welcome. The 10 o'clock to Lucy's Leap is leaving now. Oh, Billy, I found this child's drawing in an old locker in the Lost and Found. Look at the signature, Billy. Burnett Stone. It's hard to believe that Burnett could have ever looked that happy. <laughs> oh, Burnett had a wonderful smile. And he loved railroading, too. <laughs> She's as precious as gold. Pinchy, you've captured the real me. I mean, that that's beautiful. I could cry. Uh, fast. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, n n now we're here. All right, listen, you two. I, uh, I got a job for you, Splodge. Actually, it's a splatter. And, and uh, also dodge. I ain't got time to say both names. Oh, oh, oh well. I've come back to find a steam engine. Oh yeah, it's easy. Yeah, 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 they're everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Not the one I want. She escaped me once before. As long as she exists, so do the others. But if she can be destroyed... I destroyed? He's he destroyed the D-word. Yeah, destroyed! Oh, well, yeah, there's one small problem that, uh, yeah, m m Mr. Conductor's coming, he won't let you destroy it, but he won't let you destroy it. I can do whatever I want! I'll get him, too! With Pinchy! <laughs> Ow! Pinchy! I hate it when you do that! <laughs> Oh, hello, Mr. Conductor. Oh, hello, Billy. Hmm. <sighs> Toothpick, check. Take a puncher. Check, check. Ay, 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 ay. All aboard. Just testing, Billy. Must make sure my conductor skills don't get rusty. Important day, Mr. C. <laughs> oh, yes! It is a very important day. I'm going to the island of Sodor. You know, it's the only place in my universe where I really fit size-wise. So Tom has given me a big responsibility. But Diesel Tan is back, and I have to make sure he behaves himself. Excuse me, Billy. Well, I hope your visit goes well, Mr. C. Thank you. I must be responsible, reliable, and... Don't tell me. Really useful like that. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Oh, I thank you, Moby Dick. I like my sparkle too. You know, gold really is your color. Stacy, where'd you find this painting? In an old locker. It was done by Burnett Stone when he was a child. I was told that he used to work on this railroad, but he never leaves the other side of the mountain now. 
You seem puzzled, Mr. C. Well, I am puzzled. This place looks like the island of Soto, but how have been let stone travel there without gold dust? Spock was been the only way to make the trip since the last dungeon disappeared. Anyway, I just came to say goodbye. I have to go now. Right now? Why, yes, Stacy. I have to make sure everything is safe and sound on the island of Soto, just as I try to do here. Like Stacy, Mutt sensed danger. He didn't want either Billy or me to leave Shining Time. <laughs> Old Smokey, you stay right here until I get back. Ah, there you are. Is something wrong here? Beep! Oh, what kind of an answer is that? Oh man, I'm gonna be late. I'll get back as fast as I can. I have to concentrate now, Mutt. I've suddenly been having problems with my sparkle. Mutt. Goodbye, Muddle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Mr. Conductor, where are you? I know you live far away, but you always seem to get here on time. Oh, Mr. Conductor, are you alright? Yes, Toms, but sometimes everything happens at once. I have to seize the Tom hat to get my orders right away. You know, the journey from Shining Time has gotten a lot bumpier and bumpier. Does it? A big bully Diesel is back, Mr. Conductor. You had better be careful. So Tom had warned me about Diesel. Don't worry, Thomas. I'll just pop in out my sparkle wherever he goes and keep him in order. I hope. Old McDiesel had a plan, <laughs> with a pinch pinch here and a pinch pinch there, here a pinch, there a pinch, <laughs> I cracked myself up. Tasha, the conductor family has its own steam engine, and its own railroad, with magical energy that's attached to it. But Diesel wants to destroy her, and without her, the magic will disappear. One day, the spark will return, but until then, God or well, young Burnett. But I didn't guard you well. I just don't seem to understand about magic anymore. This is where Burnett's granddaughter, Lily, comes into our story. She lives with her mom and dad in the big city, a few hours train ride from Shining Time. She sees magic like no one else has time to, like lovely reflections of light in a rainy day. Soon, she was off to stay with her grandpa on Muffle Mountain. Grandpa was sad when Grandma Tasha died. He never comes here to see us. Well, maybe your visit will cheer him up, hmm? Did you get his present? Here. I'm making him a friendship bracelet. Honey, that's beautiful. But I'd rather just stay here with you. I know. Come here. I'm just gonna go up this way. Okay. Be careful. You always say that. <laughs> See you in a minute. You're coming to see your grandpa's bluebird. I know how much you love to travel. Far away on Sodor, the steam engines were comfort and cheerful and determined not to be bullied by Diesel. Only James, who now felt really useful too, was complaining. Wobbly wheels. Puffy pistons. Thomas, I should have gotten Mr. Conductor. James is right, little Thomas. Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job, hmm? Important is big. James is a big engine. Mm. You, Thomas, are small. Small, 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 teeny, teeny, weeny. And I, I am a big blue engine who knows everything. Bah! Bossy sprockets! All that steam's gone to your funnel! Oh, there you are. Well, let's back up to the wagon. So I'm not good at backing up. Me neither. What's important is to stand up on our wheels to Diesel's. Toby's right. Diesel knows that the lost engine in the legend 
really exists. What engine? What legend? Of an engine who made Diesel more powerful than Diesel will ever be. That's why he wants to find her. Then we better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Bersley. Little engines can do big things, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. Okay, just what happens to that blue puff ball when hair and the flopper chopper pass right by here, right? Routine flyby chaps, hello. The bass puts teasing paddle everywhere. Oh, well, let's start laughing now, yeah. Sorry, friends. Love to stay and clean up. I gotta go. Bye now. Oh, did you mean look like that? Oh, no. Oh, neither did I. This must be Diesel's doing. A choo choo! Dear Mr. Kin Doctor, where were you? My wife said she couldn't miss our little holiday. We'll telephone to make sure you have arrived. Signed, Sir Topham Hat. Where were you? Oh, uh. oh, good afternoon, sir. Oh, what a real honor, like my family before me. And how is Lady Hat? Yes, watch out for Diesel, definitely. Keep an eye on Henry's health, sir. Oh, yes, sir, the three hours, real right and terrific. Oh, I mean, I'll be responsible, reliable, really useful. Yes, sir. Y'all get a good night's sleep. We're looking forward to a holiday tomorrow. Goodbye, sir. <sighs> so who dropped the ball then? Oh, there you are. <clears throat> I had to have a nice cup of hot cocoa. You fellows care to join me? No? What would you rather do instead? Go outside and play? Well, I can understand that. What do you think? Why do you keep hitting them like that? You're gonna have to have a time out. <laughs> Just a little sweeter right there. I'm pinching my little bucket of badness. Time to feast yourself. Now that's better. Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Cinders and ashes, it's Diesel! Diesel? Oh no. <laughs> Hello, Squinkle Toes! I got a plan, and you're not in it! You can't catch me, Diesel. <laughs> Ruby and Sparkle, eh? What perfect timing! Now where's that lost engine? You won't find it here. You're not clever enough to stop me! Yes, I am. No, you're not! What? Ah! Is that? Yeah, that's right, it's sugar diesel. And if I put this in your tank, it'll season you up for good. Oh, yes. Make the most of tonight's Waco Toast, because you won't like tomorrow! Neither will that, that line of tin panels! Shut up, Pinky! Mr. Conductor, but what happened to your sparkle? Oh no, Thomas, I guess I'll have to sleep on that. On your sparkle? No, Thomas. But I don't know about the problem that happened to it. Oh, but Mr. Conductor, without your sparkle, or the lost engine, you can't travel here to help us anymore. I'll solve the problem. You just go to sleep now. Easy for you to say.
Sparkle, Gold Dust, Magic, Real World, Buffers, The Last Dungeon. The family told me, as long as there's gold dust, there'll be harmony. As long as there's gold dust, there'll be energy. You don't have to worry. <laughs> yeah, sure. Mr. C? Mr. C? Why aren't you here? Why couldn't you travel anymore to the island of Sodor? Or back home here to us in Shining Time? The magic's all gone. <gasps> What's going on with my weirwood and why? My universe is in danger. I gotta find more gold dust. <laughs> <laughs>